I guess we're just very naturally charismatic. Okay, the Arceans are uh, starting to expand into my grill. That's that's really not good. I've got another Ontario out though. Hertz population has never managed to really run away. This is what happens. Population runs away and then everyone gets unhappy. And then they bitch constantly. You're the TFB Mayflower. Yay. As we all know, that was such a pleasant journey the first time. The Mayflower is gonna head that way. There's the independence. Ah, oh, finally. The Raven Rot gets its upgrade. Bam. More money. Man, that economic resource, along with the economic bonuses, are the only thing keeping us afloat now with our meager returns. Finally, Xeno Economics. All right, that improved our civilization's economic score overall just instantly, and we get advanced market center. I haven't built any market centers because I'm stupid. I probably should uh, divert to do that. Xeno trade centers. Oh man, all this is just too expensive. What we need is uh, I'm going for universal translator. I can't really put it off. You can put off weapons for a long time on this difficulty. Starship Graveyard. That might be promising. Man, why'd they have to grab a colony of, like, right there? This is just a draft uh, station. Since there's no star there, you can tell they just built a station to claim a resource. I don't think there's anything there for them to gobble up. Alright, time just passed. We've already reached a year into the game, and we're still solidly in the setup and claiming shit phase. Universal translators. Diplomacy plus five. We can build an embassy. We can talk to people. That's good. What else do I want? Sensors. Impulse drive. I might go for... Diplomatic relations opens up trade. And you want to spam freighters as soon as you get trade. So I tell you what. Uh, we're going for diplomatic relations. It's probably the cheapest thing we can go for anyway. Maybe I'll even be able to turn up the slider a bit. Speed things up. Come on. Yeah, seven weeks now. So we get it to six. We can get it to six. Just a little more taxes. I probably helped everything else too. Yep, we got an architect and an Ontario scheduled next week. Good job. Alright, this gave the flagship experience. When we discover the secrets of frigate class vessels, we will want to upgrade the Enterprise to the flagship of our war fleet. Just because it'll have discovered, like, experience boosting things and just... Normally, a flagship with high experience is completely useless. I mean, it doesn't fight. But this is an exception. Enterprise will head down there. I sincerely hope my roommate's audio doesn't come through. The walls are like paper. I sincerely hope my talking doesn't go through there very well. Alright, Architect Class. Go for that resource. I'm almost certain someone else is going to grab it, but if I send it out now, maybe just maybe. Alright, and we launch another Ontario Class. Oh hey, it didn't put it in the yellow this time. Alright, we're going to name this baby TFV Outreach. Because we're reaching out to grab everything we can for us. 
Alright, looks like I got three more colonizers out there. That's pretty good. Uh, I want Argus. I'll send this one to Albrio and just, like, get it. Because I know the Ar You know what they'll do? Alien races, if you let them, they will grab Mars. They'll grab it, like, without hesitation. It could be, like, 15 systems in your territory. The very heart of Terran control next to our beloved homeworld within spitting distance and they'll grab it up without a second thought that you might not like this I really doubt they're gonna be able to do that if they do that that'll probably be me gearing up for war Mars by itself is kinda useless the best thing you can do is just plop a lot of labs on it and just uh, let it contribute a bit of research it can do a bit of research alright our industry is back up to when I had to make the cuts. That's good. Life goes on. Basic factory completed on Manticore. Another Ontario on Earth. Alright, alright. I'm switching production after this one. Uh, I might get Watcher class. These things are are like cripplingly slow. They're just like they're basically just sensor platforms. Just sit them out there; they'll reveal space. But I kind of don't need that yet. I'll just get architects. That's really the only thing I can. Once I get trade, I'll just spam freighters and send them to another civilization, which gives you a massive income boost. It'll let you run your economy hot. Where otherwise you'd be like a hundred in the red. The Reaper system. That. No, it's not where the Arsenes are. We're getting close though. As you can see, the other races are suitably expanding. None of them are expanding quite like me. Because I have a particular strategy in mind. This will probably bite me in the ass. Because like I said, they'll just colonize whatever good is here and flank me. Maybe, I don't know. Or I might have just choked the draft off. Let them starve with a handful of systems. These AIs could run away if they get large amounts of territory. Uh, nothing else happening in the world? Alright. I don't know. I guess I'll get this Ontario going. This is the case where we are building colony ships too fast. And we're, like I said, we're back to pre-cut levels of industry. And we're only going at like 60-70% or something, so... When we are able to crank the slider up, we will only grow stronger. TFV... Uh, <laughs> I'm out. I don't want to sit here forever. TFV Hope. Why not? Didn't think I'd have to name this much, but I'm not going to stop. This is the only thing that makes me special enough to watch, pretty much. God knows you ain't watching for the fine quality of gameplay I'm bringing. Alright, time passes. Quite a volume of space we got revealed now. The Reaper system... Uh, I'll probably grab them. If only because... I know the Arceans will. Uh, I will reroute. The Independence is going to grab this one because it's closest. The Mayflower has been going for a while. It'll grab this one. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, sometimes stuff just happens. Fival, you're mine. Next turn. Another colony. I don't know. That's actually kind of a bad idea. Other vessels coming up can grab the better planet. 
the Outreach can grab Fievel. And the Hope, just keep chugging down because I know there's tons more. It's a buffet down here. When I make contact with other races, I'll see how they're doing in terms of tech and how many planets they've got, their, ec their economy. Diplomatic relations. We already have a good diplomacy because we're the humans, and that's usually our shtick in these kind of settings. Trade is 13 weeks. Trade is worth it. I'm getting trade now. Honestly, I should probably get it earlier. It's such an amazing technology. Alright. Shit. Uh, I'll send the Enterprise up here. There's probably something real nice there. Which my steps will stumble across because they're going that way. Just as planned. And still no contact. Kind of run out of things to say. At least meeting an alien race will let me talk about them. There's the very border of Arcean influence. Alright, an architect from here. I'm just going to send it to upgrade the Raven Rock. Because, I mean, pretty much the only thing it can do. Here's the architect that was sent to the military resource. It's about a third of the way there by now. Maybe better engines will be the next priority. Architect on Arcadia. Basic factory on Haven. Haven's starting to look kind of decent. This architect... I'll also send them over there. More money, more money, more money. It's good stuff. And even with this approval rating, you can still run democracy, no problem. Yeah, the uh, opponent parties will pick up a decent minority, but I mean, unless they get the majority, they can't do anything. This isn't like the American system, where like 40 assholes can just stop the entire workings of government. Now, it's a bit harder now. I kind of want to take the Enterprise deliberately in to say hi. It'll take a few weeks, but hey. Alright, factories are coming online. That's put us in the yellow. In fact, let's go check on our planets. Yeah, see, now Reach is getting a bit of manufacturing capability. It's doing its thing. Good for Reach. We're losing money horribly there. Freedom's progress. Same deal. Harvest. Same deal. Manticore. Just build, build labs. That's all you need to do. Build labs.